I usually start out my videos by, you know, playing an intro video that's absolutely insane. In this case, we're talking about Trans Visibility Day overlapping with Easter and the insane reaction that ensued. I don't have a video to play for you, so I figured I'd play a video of Madison Cawthorn, previous member of House of Representatives, punching a rotten tree to show how tough he is. Boy, this, this guy is tough, isn't he? I didn't know that Madison Cawthorn was this tough. Now I know. Thank you, Madison Cawthorn, for making it clear how tough you are by punching this rotten tree. That's really nice of him to, to clarify for us. I was worried. Anyway, dumb as dog. Okay, so let's let's get to the point here. <laughs> Talk about Trans Vis Visibility Day. Uh, this is a Hemant Meta article on the subject. Uh, FriendlyAtheist.com, I believe. He's got a sub stack. Anyway, Hemant Meta, really nice guy. He wrote the foreword to my book. Um, check out my book if you want to take a look. Uh, it's, you know, Kindle and all of those other places. OwenMorgan.com slash book is probably the best place to get it. Title of this article is Prominent Christians Falsely Claim Biden Chose Easter to Honor Trans People. Now, Transgender Day of Visibility is what it's called. I think it's existed for 15 years or something like that. And since, you know, since 2021, since Biden has had control of the POTUS Twitter account, He's posted Happy Trans Visibility Day on March 31st. Try a uh, shout out for trans people. It's nice. It's good, right? Well, it overlapped with Easter this year. It, it won't happen again until 2086. And people went absolutely ape shit over it. Oh my God, dude. It, it was crazy. The reactions. Canceling uh, Easter now. Oh, you're turning Easter woke. You're using our... Christ's death and resurrection as blah, 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 you know how they do it's insane absolutely insane like these people like get help guys when you are this pissed off about something that doesn't even affect you like literally at all in any way shape or form you have gotta recognize something's wrong here something's wrong with this picture right you want to celebrate Easter celebrate Easter nobody's stopping you and you know what, if, you know what, even if Biden did name Easter Trans Visibility Day, specifically, Easter changes every year. I don't know if people knew that or what. I don't know. Sometimes it's like April 1st, sometimes April 4th, sometimes March 28th. I mean, it depends. This year, it was March 31st, which is Trans Visibility Day. Even if Biden chose Easter as the day every single year consistently, when is Easter 2025? Let's see. Uh, Easter 2025, out of curiosity, is... Wait. Oh, wait. 2025, it falls on April 20th. No way. That's awesome. Lots of people going to be uh, blazing up, if you will, on Easter uh, next year, 2025. 2026, it's April 5th. 2027, March 28th. 2028, it's April 16th. It changes from year to year. I don't know if people realize that. But, you know, even if Biden did name Easter the holiday as Trans Visibility Day, he said, I'm erasing Easter as a federal holiday and I'm making it Trans Visibility Day. Guess what? That doesn't affect you in any way, shape or form. It doesn't affect you even a little bit. If you want to celebrate Easter, celebrate Easter. That's your right. You can do it. No one is stopping you. But that's not what happened anyway. It just so happened that Trans Visibility Day fell on Easter this year. That's it. And people are losing their f***ing minds over it. It is crazy. Quick note before we continue, I want to let you know I just wrote a book. If you want to check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. It's a book about my experiences within Jehovah's Witnesses. It's completely understandable if you know nothing about Jehovah's Witnesses. And if you're a Christian, it's a good reference to use for why Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong about their interpretation of the Bible. The last chapter of the book is 100 questions that I have for the governing body. I'm selling the last chapter separately as its own separate guide, if you guys want to get that too. So check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. I'd appreciate that. Well, the thing is about Easter, I grew up Jehovah's Witness. I didn't celebrate any holidays. They were all forbidden for their own reasons. 
couldn't celebrate birthdays, couldn't celebrate Easter or Christmas or God, I don't know, any of them, any of them, literally no holidays, none. So when I left, I decided to celebrate all of them. I want to do what I wasn't allowed to do as a Jehovah's Witness. And Easter is one of the smaller, lesser known holidays. It's like more Christian centric. It's not really secularized the way Christmas is. But I still get an Easter basket for my kid. And, you know, I always have. Easter basket, uh, like, I'm completely unfamiliar with the lore of it because, you know, grow, grew up Jehovah's Witness. I very, I just don't, like, I don't remember. I think, what is it? Um, is, is it the Tooth Bunny comes in and buys baskets for kids and uses the money from uh, sales of the teeth that the Tooth Bunny gets. He sells the teeth to the Tooth Fairy right so the tooth bunny makes money from tooth sales and that he uses that or she this guy gal or non-binary pal who happens to be the tooth bunny i think the tooth bunny buys the easter baskets to give to kids right so ultimately i think the money's coming from the the tooth fairy does that sound right i don't remember what the lore is but anyway Unfortunately, the tooth bunny just passes right over my house, just doesn't give a so I have to be the one to buy it. Maybe I'm not producing enough teeth. Maybe I need to grow more teeth and send them out, uh, put them under my pillow and stuff to appease the tooth bunny and the tooth fairy. Yeah, I don't know the lore. I didn't grow up with this stuff, guys. You grew up with it, so I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> I just know I have to buy a, uh, an Easter basket each year. That's all. So I just want to take a quick gander here at this article from Hemant Mehta, see what it had to say. He wrote this article March 31st, 2024. This is produced on Easter, Trans Visibility Day. It says, today is the Transgender Day of Visibility. For 15 years, it's been a way to celebrate the trans community, as opposed to Transgender Day of Remembrance, which honors victims for 15 years. The event has occurred on March 31st. President Joe Biden issued a proclamation celebrating the event, just as he did in 2021, 22, and 23, saying that trans people were part of the fabric of our nation and that we need to work toward eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. Hard respect for that one. Hard respect. I can appreciate that Joe Biden is giving some visibility to the trans community, really. It's really nice. Anyway, it continues here. Uh, this is Hemant Mehta speaking. Easter, on the other hand, falls on a different Sunday each year, sometime between late March and late April. This year, both events happen to fall on the same date. You know exactly where this is going. Conservative Christians are now acting like Biden selectively chose March 31st to honor trans people as a slap in the face to their faith, which is to say his faith. Yeah, because Biden is Catholic. Like, devout, devout Catholic. Quick interjection, this won't take long. If you like what I do, I'd appreciate it if you watch the video to the end. YouTube bases video reach off of watch time, so watching even an extra minute makes the video go further. Liking and subscribing goes a long way, too. Finally, it would be awesome if you guys checked out my Patreon. All links are in the description, of course. Okay, back to the video. You know, during uh, the Kennedy-Nixon campaign, I think it was in the, what one was this, the 50s? I don't remember. Anyway. When uh, Kennedy was running for president, there was this big thing like, he's Catholic. Is that going to interfere with his duties as president? Can he be Catholic and president at the same time? We have come a very weird direction and a long way down that weird direction to find ourselves where we are now, right? Oh, my God. Like I said, Biden didn't do that. But if he did, it doesn't affect you in any way. Celebrate Easter if that's what you want to do. That is religious freedom. Your right to practice your religion the way that you want. Honestly, the government shouldn't be naming holidays like that federal holidays. They shouldn't have Christmas listed as a federal holiday or whatever, Easter or any of the others, in my opinion. Thanksgiving? Sure. That can be a federal holiday. You know why? Because it's based on the founding of the country. But religious federal holidays? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't believe that should happen. Uh, Trans Day of Visibility? Absolutely agree with that being 
a day. It's not even like an official thing. It's just like it's not a holiday, not a federal nothing. It's just a day where we think about the fact that trans people are mistreated. That's it. That's a political issue. And in Biden's purview should be something that Biden is talking about as a, as the president the, of the federal government of the United States. It's something he should be talking about. Easter is a religious holiday. It's not something that Biden should be talking about. But of course he is because he's devoutly Catholic. Not a battle I even want to fight. Whatever. You want to have your Easter's, your federal holiday, fine. But people can do whatever the hell they want on that day. I don't have to celebrate Easter if I don't want. And I can make this Trans Visibility Day, make my own Trans Vis Visibility Day, March 31st, if, if I want to. Anyway, it says, Donald Trump's National Press Secretary, Carolyn Leavitt, or Lea Leavitt, never heard that name, demanded an apology from Biden and claimed this is part of a years-long assault on the Christian faith. Again, you can celebrate it to your heart's content. Celebrate Easter all you want. I don't care. Go nuts. No one is stopping you. But she doesn't, I guess, this part, Carolyn, Le leave it or whatever. She doesn't just want to celebrate Easter. She wants to impose Easter on others. She wants to force her religion onto other people in addition to celebrating it. Part of her worship involves forcing you to worship also. There's a line to religious freedom. You can do whatever you want up to the point where it affects other people's lives. You can't sacrifice a kid on an altar. You can, however, celebrate Easter. Go nuts. You can't force other people to observe, recognize, or celebrate Easter. Anyway, it, it continues. It's, she says it's a years-long assault on the Christian faith. It's not. Apparently, Trump sent out... Oh, this is... I guess this is a post from Carolyn Leavitt. I'm not sure where this was. Truth, uh, Truth Central? Truth Central? Whatever uh, Trump's um, social media thing is. We call on Joe Biden's failing campaign and White House to issue an apology to the millions of Catholics and Christians. He is Catholic. You... I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy that's always bagging on people. I'll have Greg Locke do it for me. I'm dumber than a box of rocks in a lot of areas. Thank you for your input, Greg. I appreciate that. Apt. Apt timing. We call on the White House to issue an apology to the millions of Catholics and Christians across America who believe tomorrow is for one celebration only. Who said that? No one said anything about that. Didn't they have an Easter egg hunt at the White House or something? The resurrection of Jesus Christ. I've lived for the Lord my whole life. And I was dumb as a box of rocks and didn't know it. Thank you, Shane Vaughn. I appreciate your input, too. Statement from Trump campaign on Joe Biden's blasphemous declaration of Trans Visibility Day on Easter Sunday. Blasphemous. So? Who cares if it's blasphemous? That's freedom, baby. That's what it's all about. We need to reclaim that word. Quote, it is appalling and insulting that Joe Biden's White House prohibited children from submitting religious egg designs for their Easter art event. And there's another thing that went absolutely viral on Facebook. People losing their mind over this, right? Not allowed to submit religious art designs for the Easter event or whatever. Is it true? Of course it's not true. My God, these people live in an alternate reality. But they always base it on a grain of truth. So let me tell you what that little grain of truth was. Here's the claim. It's insulting that Biden's White House prohibited children from submitting religious egg designs for their Easter art event. Right? Here's what really happened. There was a military-themed art event for Easter eggs. So you needed to do, like, something related to the military. Draw a, a military man saluting or a gun or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know why children should like would be drawing guns, but whatever. Here we are in America, 2024. It was military themed. It was not religious themed. So the rules of the contest were make a military themed art thing for an egg or whatever. And Trump's people interpreted that and like countless people on Facebook interpreted that as no religious designs it's so 
again, I'm like, I'm not the guy bagging on people. I'm dumber than a box of rocks in a lot of areas. It is so stupid. I don't know what to do with it anymore. Seriously. Anyway, Speaker Mike Johnson, he continues. Uh, Hemant Mehta is speaking now. Uh, Speaker Mike Johnson, by the way, he's a complete nutcase. He's far right, Christian nationalist, the whole nine. So Hemant Mehta says, Speaker Mike Johnson, one of the most powerful Christians in the country, ran with the lie, proclaiming banning sacred truth and tradition, while at the same time proclaiming Easter Sunday as Transgender Day is outrageous and abhorrent. Again, not what happened. But okay, you know, doesn't matter if they lie, they don't care. Just say whatever, who cares? Johnson also posted an image claiming the White House banned religious Easter eggs as if Biden implemented that rule, even though that rule has been in effect for nearly five decades. The American Egg Board, which sponsors the event, says it has always been religiously neutral despite the Easter connection, and it's merely a way to promote their product. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, interesting. That was true when Trump was in the White House, too. Fox updated its own misleading article to point that out, but only after initially spreading the lie. It did not update its headline. Here's the Fox article about religious-themed designs banned from White House Easter egg art contest. It's so stupid, dude. I've lived for the Lord my whole life, and I was dumb as a box of rocks and didn't know it. It is so stupid. Which is all to say the most powerful conservative Christian in America would rather spread lies that serve a political purpose than tell a truth that undercuts Republican talking points. Either he and his staffers don't know how to do basic research or don't care. It says a lot about his supposed faith-based values. Here's uh, Mike Johnson's twit, I guess you'd call it. The twit, you know? That's what I used to call it anyway, the twit. Now it's definitely the twit. So here's his twit. The Biden White House has betrayed the central tenet of Easter, which is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Banning sacred truth and tradition while at the same time proclaiming Easter Sunday as Transgender Day is outrageous and abhorrent. The American people are taking note. I'm dumber than a box of rocks in a lot of areas. Facebook just makes people think I'm smart. I don't even know what to do with this anymore. Unfortunately, you know, Mike Johnson and all, whoever, else, Trump and his whatever, his press secretary, they're all talking about this right now. And who else is talking about it? None other than Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner is a trans person who is a right-leaning conservative. Um, the parent of Kim Kardashian, I believe? Uh, yeah, I think it's the, the parent of Kim Kardashian. That's who um, Caitlyn Jenner is. It's a uh, Huffington Post article. I don't usually read Huffington Post because... I feel sometimes it's a little bit biased, but that's okay. Let's take a look here. Caitlyn Jenner disgusted over Trans Day visibility being on Easter. Transgender Day... Dude, okay. And here's another reason why I don't read Huffington Post. Because they cram ads down my throat. Come on, guys. Please. Like, a couple? Fine. Yes, I'm all for it. Couple of ads. Great. Don't give me 60 billion of them. And, and don't play sound against my will. When I'm not, look, it says loading right now on this video. I don't know what this video is, but in a second, it's going to start playing sound against my will. I have no idea what it's going to start saying. That is frustrating as it gets, dude. And I have two computers, the one I use to stream and the one that I'm show. you know, the screen share. And that, like this seriously happens from time to time where sound just starts playing. I don't know which computer it's coming from. I don't even know like which browser it's coming from, let alone browser tab. I have no idea. Drives me nuts. Don't do that, guys, please. If you're a programmer out there... Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm getting off on a tangent here. But we're talking about Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner, a trans woman, wrote on social media Saturday that she is disgusted. Transgender Day of Visibility is on Easter this year. Disgusted. The annual event has been held on March 31st since its inception in 2009. Easter is a different date each year, however. Quote, I'm absolutely disgusted that Joe Biden has declared the most holy of holy days, a self-proclaimed devout Catholic, as Transgender Day of Visibility. Jenner wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter. Yeah, I'm just going to call it the twit. I always have. The only thing you should be declaring on this day is, He is risen! 
for the record, um, the H in he is correctly capitalized, but the E should not be capitalized in that sentence. I'm just, you know, I want to point it out for posterity. Caitlyn Jenner complaining about Trans Visibility Day, overwriting Easter. Really? Come on, guys. Okay, so back to Hemant Mehta's article about Trans Visibility Day, uh, where we left off on this article. Donald Trump's press secretary, I think it said. Yes, press secretary showed righteous indignation and demanded an apology on the nation's behalf for Joe Biden overwriting Easter with Trans Visibility Day. Uh, like, I'm again, like, I'm not the guy that's going to bag on people, but I'm dumber than a box of rocks in a lot of areas. Facebook just makes people think I'm smart. Like, I, I don't know what else to do with this. Anyway, let's keep reading. Uh, Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House, he complained about it. Currently Speaker of the House. That might change soon. If Biden picked the date himself, which he did not, the idea that no one's allowed to celebrate anything else on Easter except Easter is absurd. Christians do not own the calendar, and they don't own all of December either while we're at it. Yeah, that's a fair point. They pretend to own all of December. Actually, um, it's blatantly clear that they don't own, like Christians don't own December in New York City. New York City is the highest concentration of Jews outside of Israel, and Manhattan has a lot, a very high Jewish population. My neighborhood is, I think, 52% Jewish. So the high schools in the area, or middle schools, elementary, whatever, they will have Jewish days and Christian days off. Yom Kippur, or Yom Kippur, as they call it, that is given to Jewish people. Like, that day is free. You don't go to school that day for Yom Kippur. Or Rosh Hashanah. That's also another day where people don't go. And I think that they're connected. I don't, one of them, it's, Yom Kippur is the start of the season and Rosh Hashanah is the end, I think. I don't remember. And since we have more days spent out of school, we have to subtract from somewhere else, right? They have to go for a certain amount of time. So kids go to school all the way up to December 23rd in New York City. Uh, maybe they get the 24th off. I think they do. And then it goes from the 24th to like the 2nd. It's practically like no Christmas vacation at all. Because, I mean, uh, compared to what it was in West Virginia, when I lived there, it was like practically all of December that kids got off. In September, this is Coop Master. He's a Jewish in September, we have four holidays, Rosh Hashanah, New Year, Yom Kippur, and Atonement Day. Okay. Well, like I said, I live in a very heavily Jewish neighborhood, 52% Jewish. Like, there is no more heavily concentrated place um, for Jews outside of Israel. So lots and lots and lots of Jews here. Uh, obviously, they're going to celebrate Jewish holidays. I think Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are the only ones that they get at the high schools here. And of course, New Year's, Christmas, but as far as Jewish holidays exclusively, I believe those are the only two. There are non-Christians who will enjoy their Sundays without thinking about Easter. Yeah, I certainly, I didn't even realize it was Easter. And there are Christians who will honor trans people on Sunday because they can do two things at once and they're not assholes. Well said, Hemant meant I appreciate that. I'm glad that I'm not the one that has to say it. I'm dumber than a box of rocks in a lot of areas. All of those people spreading the lie are either willfully spreading false propaganda or too dumb to check the facts for themselves. Yep, agreed. Absolutely. Their followers are eating it up because they too revel in their own ignorance. They don't believe Biden is a real Christian anyway. Recall that a recent Pew Research Center survey found that 69% of Republicans don't really believe Biden is religious. Wow. Really? That's crazy. Here's the link to the study. Wow. Eight in 10 Americans say religion is losing influence in public life. 69% say Biden is not religious. That, that's very crazy. Really interesting. Anyway, I believe personally that Obama might have been our first atheist president, but if he wasn't, Trump was definitely our first atheist president. I don't like it. I don't want to claim the guy or anything. I just don't think that he believes in, you know, anything in the Bible at all. I don't think he believes in this stuff to any degree whatsoever. Anyway, uh, Hemant Mehta continues here. 
None of the critics, by the way, bothered to explain how Easter would be ruined by this proclamation. If your Easter Sunday was spoiled because of what Biden said, maybe your faith isn't as strong as you think it is. And if Biden actually wanted to persecute Christians, then why the hell would he do it via a proclamation honoring trans people? None of this makes sense, even on the bigots' terms. I mean, is there really any surprise here that these people are just losing their minds over this, honestly? This is what I've come to expect from the far right, from far right extremists at this point. Biden didn't back down in the face of the fake controversy to his credit. That's uh, written by him at Meta. Here's a quote. As a Christian who celebrates Easter with family, President Biden stands for bringing people together and upholding the dignity and freedoms of every American. Sadly, it's unsurprising politicians are seeking to divide and weaken our country with cruel hateful, and dishonest rhetoric. Biden will never abuse his faith for political purposes or for profit. So Biden said, I'm celebrating Easter right now. And I recognize that trans people are terribly mistreated in the country and they need some visibility. Respectable, right? Respectable as hell. Hemant Mehta continues, give his administration credit for that. It would have been perfectly easy to issue any proclamation at all especially given how much conservative zealots flip out when trans people are brought up in any context. This kind of right-wing response was predictable, but he did it anyway, and he did so forcefully. It may be symbolic, but symbols still carry a lot of weight. I agree. It was valuable and appreciated that Joe Biden didn't back down from this, in my opinion. Now, I'm not trans. I believe that everybody has a right to have an opinion on every subject. So I, you know, it's not like I don't think I'm qualified to talk about it because I'm not trans. But I do think that trans people will have a, you know, they, they might have a unique perspective that could be interesting to listen to. So if you're trans, tell me what you think about Biden not backing down in the comments of this video. If any of these Christian, this is Hemet Met again. If any of these Christian liars actually gave a shit about the sanctity of their faith, they would condemn Trump, who made headlines last week for selling an expensive Christian nationalist Bible in order to take another cut of cash from the most gullible MAGA cultists in the country. Oh yeah, Trump is selling Bibles. Forgot about that one. Jesus, dude. It's shameless at this point. It is shameless. These people have no shame. Again, I believe that Trump was one of the first atheist presidents, at least in our modern era. In the past uh, 50 years, I think he's the first atheist president, if Obama wasn't atheist. These people need help, for real. So right now, Facebook is just losing their minds over Easter being erased by by trans people, I guess. By Easter being erased by trans people and by the fact that Easter Egg Sunday banned religious, you know, their religious symbolism banned from Easter or whatever. Like, guys, are you really going to, like, die on this hill and and get outraged over this stupid shit, honestly? Get help, for real. Anyway, tell me what you think. Anybody and everybody, I want to know your thoughts. Put it in the comments. Feed the almighty algorithm with a comment. And particularly, in all seriousness, trans people, please. Tell me what you think about what Biden did there, about not backing down and and all that stuff. I want to hear about it.